Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my Q&A that was announced a little while ago so you guys asked me questions and I'm here to answer some of them. Everyone who asked me questions and I was starting filming this video for so long so for emotional support I brought my coffee and my Poe coaster because what else do you need in life? So we're just gonna be having a casual video, grab a cup of coffee grab a cup of coffee, grab tea, grab water, grab lemon water, sparkling water, anything. You do you. Let's chat. That's not the way it goes. I have to wait till I get to the other side just to see The Q&A was wondering what is your first Stephen King book. So my first King book, who asked this? Matthew, oh my god, I love him. He always comments. For me, it was Carrie. I start off with Carrie because I heard about the movie like when I was a bit younger. I was researching like the scariest horror films ever, and like Carrie popped up. I'm like, ooh, I want to read the book. <laughs> and this is when I wasn't that into reading, so I read Carrie and I like fell in love with it. So then I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start a tradition. <laughs> and, um, so for every book report that I would do, I would do a Stephen King book. So since I read Carrie, I was really into King. Um, and then I was like, I have a school project coming up and we get to choose our book. So I'm going to do The Shining because that movie was also on that list. <laughs> so I did The Shining. And then after that, I just got into everything else by him. And no, the tradition did not last. In grade nine, I did do Salem's Lot for a project. But in grade 10, we weren't allowed to pick our own books. So, and this year we're not allowed either. So <laughs> they ruined my tradition. Blames the school board. <laughs> Tamara's asked, oh, congrats. <laughs> what a sweetheart um so my questions are what is your favorite band slash musician i'm not choosing how did you get into reading i have a video on it <laughs> i love just plugging videos but it's true i made it check it out <laughs> um i also what is your favorite genre of books or music um i assume books i'm gonna say contemporary is one of my favorites not gonna lie um i also love thrillers and suspense and urban fantasy poetry is not really a genre but i do love me some poetry your top three fave books ever <laughs> y'all asked me the hardest questions and i'm like pardon <laughs> the top my top three favorite books ever excuse me no okay uh what's the best thing or place about living in canada um i just feel safer in canada like i know there's still shit that happens here but it doesn't seem as troubling as the u.s plus we don't have donald trump so <laughs> plus i do like that we get four complete seasons you get a lot of snow top three lipsticks <laughs> i like this question so i wear some of the same lipsticks in all my videos by the way look at my mug like pardon me <laughs> so one is daddy by jeffree star it's that brow nude one wear it all the time this one's not it but i wear it all the time um there's a few more um red rum by jeffree star which is like a bright red i wear that one sometimes and right now it's called back talk well it's not new but it's called back talk and it's by Urban Decay. It's a little stick lipstick. I've been loving that. It's usually that pinky nude I kind of wear in my videos usually. So yeah, thank you for your questions. Ooh, one more. P.S. Sorry for so many cues. It's good, girl. I got you. What do you want to do after finishing school? I got a lot of questions like this. <laughs> like, I can't even tell you how many of you guys asked me what I want to do in my future. I have always wanted to go into psychology or criminology. That's my plan. It could go south. Um, because I love books. My goal isn't to be an author though. Would it be cool to work in publishing? Yeah, but I've never really considered it as a career path for me. I don't know. Psychology and criminology is what I'm most interested in, but like, we'll see what happens. What countries do you want to visit? I've always wanted to visit Australia. Since, since I was, we're just gonna have the lipstick stains like shown. So since I was like really, really small, I did all my projects on Australia because you know in elementary school when they're like do a project on the place <laughs> and you're like okay so like I did Australia every single time except for one time I did Finland because I didn't know what it was and I was like I'm gonna do Finland because no one else is doing Finland but <laughs> not the point so Australia I've wanted to go for so long um I also want to go to I want to visit the states more I mean I've only been to like Buffalo New York or Bu Buffalo it's like right near like the Niagara Falls border so like it is the U.S. but barely <laughs> like it's not really in the U.S. um I want to go to like Quebec again it's so beautiful when I went I also want to visit BC more that's not a country but I would like to visit BC more for countries I don't know 
Australia is a big one. Love to visit the UK. The UK looks gorgeous. I'd love to go there. Probably London. But yes, thank you for your questions. Um, please, what is your lipstick? Anita Miss Kova. Oh, that one was back talk by that was back talk the lipstick or Cat. I don't know if this was meant for this video, but <laughs> I'm answering it now. Are you wearing a Losers Club t-shirt? Yes. In that video I was. It was my discussion video. It's a it shirt. Pretty cool. <laughs> What is the last song you listened to? Which is from Nicole Tolley. So the last song I listened to, I think was Money by Of Mice and Men. I think I was jamming last night and like bullet journaling and that song came on, which is a total bop. By the way, it's a remake of Pink Floyd's song Money. So yeah. Yeah. How's your sleep schedule these days? When I first saw this comment, I was laughing because I was like, how sweet, but not what I expected to see. Um, YTSZ asked that. So, okay. I used to show in like, especially my booktube of Flan vlogs, I'd wake up at like four and be like, howdy. So my sleep does kind of suck. Um, it's where I would wake up super, super early. Like I'd go to bed like 11 and then I'd wake up at like two, three and then stay up. Um, there's some days where I've got, gotten zero sleep. It happens every now and then I get no sleep whatsoever. And that's because I can't fall asleep. And then I just go to school the next day. So like my sleep sucks. <laughs> Plus I wake up, but I'm trying to get it on track. I'm trying. Thank you, man. Uh, the Bookwalker, I love him. He's been commenting for like years. Um, congrats on 9K, Julie. We support you and love that you put... Oh, okay. My questions. What is the book that is out of your comfort zone that you really that you really liked? And what's your least favorite Stephen King book? So a book that is out of my comfort zone that I liked, probably Vampire Academy. Like one of like the cheesiest books ever, but so entertaining. And I'm excited to continue with the series. I've read like the first three. But yeah, I thought that book would be absolute shit, which it was actually pretty 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 good i liked it um what is your least favorite favorite stephen king probably cell um i couldn't finish it i didn't have cell i really didn't like the way it was written and it just wasn't my thing i even unhauled it so Shh. <laughs> it's fine ash my bloody ash what's the next series you're wanting to start <laughs> i have enough series to start at the moment i need to finish the raven cycle like real bad um what do i want to start i need to read replica so i want to start that series i guess even though only one book is out. So we'll go with that, Replica. How many Stephen King books have you read? I have no idea. Maybe like 20 at least? I don't know. I've read quite a bit, but I haven't read them all. So like, don't attack me, thanks. Cues, top favorite TV shows. Oh my God. So I'm a sucker and I watch the Y&R, The Young and the Restless. Your grandparents maybe watch it or you watch it. If you watch it, hey, um, soap opera show real good i watch it every day <laughs> i watch it five well usually i wait till the end of the week and then i catch up with my mom because we like watching it it's super addicting anyways not the point <laughs> i love that show criminal minds has been my favorite since i was like 10. i have posters of it on my wall in my room criminal minds has been my everything for so long um hannibal is one of my all-time favorite shows watched it several times this is so hard because i love adult cartoons too like Bob's Burgers, The Simpsons, American Dad, Family Guy, Archer. I also love cat shows. Like, My Cat from Hell is my thing. Yes. <laughs> Book to movie adaptation. It was pretty good. Fantasy or sci-fi? Recently, it's been sci-fi. Fantasy, I don't like high fantasy. As much as I try, I, it takes me a while to get into it. I, like, I could read it and enjoy it, but it just takes so much effort. And, like, most likely, I won't really like it that much. Um, but I do like urban fantasy quite a bit. And sci-fi I've been getting into more recently. I have been really enjoying some sci-fi books recently. So, yes. So, Vic said, how many hours a day would you spend reading in total? I'm just interested because you're such a bookworm. When I was on winter break, I got so many questions of why I was reading so much. I didn't have school, buddy. I didn't have school. So when I have breaks like that, I do read quite a bit because I'm, I have more time, um, which I also hate when people say, like, I don't have time to read. <laughs> Fucking make time. That's not my problem if you can't make time, okay? Okay. But <laughs> I spend, like, maybe an hour before bed, 40 minutes, and yeah. But there's some nights I used to, like, come home from school, do my work, and then dedicate, like, for three hours and I'd read way late into the night. So I've done that before too, it's, it depends. Um, I don't know, <laughs> but thank you for your question. Olivia, my queen, um, asked, the zombie apocalypse and a zombie's about to attack you. You're able to use whatever is directly in front of you, is directly to your right, no, to, to your right as a weapon, do you survive? I get to use a keychain, so I'd probably die. That's an interesting question. Vera W asked, what grade are you in? I am in grade 11. Uh -huh. 
if you're a senior, what college you want to go to and what do you want to major in psychology, criminology, don't know which university or college exactly. I have some in mind, but I'd rather not share them on the internet. What is your favorite manga series ever? Death Note always takes the prize, but Doubt is so good. What's your favorite horror film ever? Shit. The Conjuring is a classic. Gotta love The Conjuring. I want to watch some of the like the older horror films, um, which I haven't seen a lot of those old ones. The Paranormal Activity movies are like such a guilty pleasure to me because they're so bad but so fun. So I don't know. The Conjuring's good though. Um, you're great. I love knowing you will do a Q&A. Oh, I love her. Katrina the Bookworm. What a queen. The person has a cat as their eye as their profile picture. Love you already. How old are you? 16. I get asked that all the time because apparently I look really, really old, which is fine. <laughs> just as you you. Okay, so Abby Ramsey asked, just so just to care, just uh, just discovered you a month or two and your content is questions are opinions on Fall Out Boy. Okay, so I've listened to some of their music. I would, wouldn't consider myself a fan. <laughs> I've just never gotten into it. I've never just listened to enough. Some of my friends in elementary school used to love them. So I used to like not really want to listen to them because I'm like, mm. but yeah, I don't really have an opinion. How did your fan react to your decision to start a book collection on a booktube channel? So I did start doing booktube videos. I'm not a booktube videos, doing beauty videos at first. And they were up for it. Um, they thought it was interesting. It gave me something to do. It gave me a hobby when I was really young and something that I can do independently and for myself and something that not everyone like around me was doing. Um, so they were all around pretty supportive. I've never had any issues with my parents and my YouTube channel. They've always been pretty supportive of me and making videos, content, interactions, stuff like that. I get this all the time. Apparently the red copy is kind of rare. Where is it? Over here? Apparently it's kind of rare. I didn't know that. Um, apparently the black one you see all the time. I got it from Book Outlet. There's a, like a warehouse kind of looking store in St. Catharines in Ontario, Canada. Uh, that's where I got mine. Loyal Lord or Roll asked, how many hours of reading do you spend in a day? I already said that. How do you balance reading and booktube schoolwork? Um, I've talked about this so many times, but like I try my best to manage everything. And I think it's bullshit when you say I'm too busy for this or I'm too busy for that because prioritize what you want and time management is a big thing. I don't think I'm the best, especially right now, starting a new semester, but kind of trying to get into it more. And like I made myself take a step, a little bit of a step aside from reading, but usually it's just fitting it into your schedule and making time for what you want to do, what you think is important, things like that. I don't know if that helps, but yeah. Oh, it's Jay. My questions are top five reasons why you love me. You're tall, you're funny, you're obsessed with boys, just a little. I like your intro, it's my thing. And you're, let us get started, yeah. Plus, you're from Canada, so, hey. And you said you'd make me vegan cookies, still waiting for them, thanks. If you any, any animal in the world, what would you be and why, and you can't say your cat? Well, that, that just ruined it. That ruined it, Jay, I'm offended. Um, an armadillo. N n nothing to say about that just an armadillo great this is an interesting question that i knew i was gonna okay do you count manga graphic novels and poetry as books because when i read them and end up finishing loads of them in a week i don't feel like saying that i've read 10 books when they have five times less word than usual which is inaccurate i probably shouldn't think about book count etc but it's annoying okay i absolutely consider poetry manga and graphic novels as books some may not agree with me with that, but I do count them towards my Goodreads goal. I do count them in my wrap ups because you're still reading. And because you don't read a novel doesn't mean you're not reading. So I don't know. I've always thought some mangas are big. Some like a lot of mangas are pretty chunky, actually, if you get those bind ups. But I still think they're still words. You're still following a story. You're still in a different world and you're still learning about someone else so i think that still counts poetry especially i still count and i sometimes I'm not gonna lie sometimes i feel really annoying like i feel annoying if i read so much poetry in a month but like i love to read it so i'm gonna read it and i'm gonna count it so dimar terrorist dim asked that he kind of looks cute in his profile picture if that's him so i used the hashtag sapphire q on twitter so let's scroll down to the bottom and see what people asked Okay, same question I ask everyone from Natasha. Oh, so I'm everyone, Natasha. I see how it is. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you could marry Stephen King from which decade would you pick? Do Google picks. Um, one picture I like. 
we're gonna go with this Stephen King. He's looking great here. Shadow Ninja. What a kid. What a nice name. Um, when did you start highlighting and putting notes in your books? A while ago. <laughs> a long time ago. Like a year. A few years ago, actually. Yeah, because I was putting. Yeah, years ago. Um, and what made you decide to do that over just reading? Because I want to remember things. I want to go back. Also, being a reviewer, you gotta mark things off that you want to talk about so it's just important also for schoolwork it's so much easier for assignments and English class to do that trust me <laughs> any suggestions for someone who wants to start doing that I get asked this all the time to make another video about this I have made a video I'll link it down below if you guys are interested but buy tabs don't buy expensive tabs because you can go to Staples and spend six dollars on a pack of tabs don't do that go to the dollar store spend a dollar on a pack of tabs because I go through them so fast and you will too. <laughs> Suggestions? Not really. Like you just start doing it. You can come up with color coding systems. You can start just by putting the tabs in that match the cover. So if the book's pink, you can put pink tabs in to tab whatever you want. Um, you can color code them. You could put general tabs, like whatever you want. Do you? Um, Allison asks, have you read VC Andrews before? Nope. Uh, and I love your cat. Thanks. He's uh, kicked out of the room right now. He's kind of mad, but I'm filming. <laughs> which usually I leave him, but he's been feisty, so I don't want him to knock anything over. How do you read so much in a little time, or do you de dedicate a lot of time to reading? How many hours a day do you read, and how often will you finish a book? On a good week, I'll finish a book like every two to three days. That's on a good week. And all those other questions I answered, or I have videos for how much I read and how to read more, link down below. Asked. I might be too late. You're good, man. Uh, who is your biggest inspiration? Is there any book to you look up to specifically or just someone in general? Um, Kayla or Lala from Books and Lala. I have loved her videos for such a long time. I love her channel and her so much. Recently, we've been like, I'm in a group chat with her, so I kind of fangirled. So don't mind me like fangirling over other booktubers. Uh, who else do I admire? Uh, Emma Books, I do admire as well. I like her story about mental health and then how she's over, like, been through so much and then her channel and how successful it is and just I just really like Emma books and Peter I look up to as well I look up to his honesty and how he can just sit down and talk for such a long period of time and just how many people like adore him and it's he's like he he deserves everybody who supports him so much like he really deserves it how old are you 16 stop asking me that Ready? okay I'm trying to start up a booktube channel, but I hardly know anyone, and I usually only stick with one author. What are your tips for a beginner and also on keeping options open for reviews, even if, even if they are terrible? By the way, I love your channel. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of time to answer Hannah's question. Thank you. Um, and I have some people I've been talking to as well that want to start booktube channels, and just, I know it's, people want to start booktube. Like, booktube newbie tags go up, like, every week, several of them. And I gotta admit, I do have to look at more... I do have to look more at that hashtag than I kind of have been because I'm not the hashtag. I do want to look at those videos more and discover new people, but I hardly know anyone. Don't worry. Do you think I knew anyone? Like I never knew anyone when I started. For the record, I was in the beauty community for a while and everyone I met or talked to was all about subscribers, um, promotion, shit like that. It was very superficial and I really didn't like that. But for booktube, I honestly didn't have any friends. For a long time I then met friends and you will see people that will comment on your videos and you comment back on theirs don't worry about not making friends be you do you friends will come around but it's not it's amazing to have friends and I'm grateful for the friends that I've made through booktube but like it didn't just happen like I didn't just have them when I started definitely not I was I had just a few for like years like a year at least and then I started to make friends and trust me people will like approach you and want to be your friend because they'll be like you seem pretty cool man and then you guys can discuss books and it'll be great um I usually want to stick to one, one author okay read what you want to read and make videos don't think about it too much get get your setup shit get all your shit set up and just make a video and see what happens from there it's you just have to okay you have to put your foot in the door. So if booktube is a door to you and you want to whip it open and jump right in, that might be not what's best for you, but at least jam your foot in the door. Stick your foot in the door, make a video, see what happens, do what you want. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's just, you got to do it if you really want to. And don't worry about subscribers at first. Don't worry about if people will like you, because trust me, if you're even the weirdest human ever, 
people are gonna love you <laughs> like just be you um yeah i don't know what else to say trust me i'm an awkward soul i only read from i didn't read much variety back then well i kind of always read variety but like i don't know how to put it read what you want and don't worry about it don't worry about a man you're good you're not a man but you're good it's a terrible book don't be obnoxious and give it a good review because no one will trust you and that's like peter says once you lose your dignity you can never get it back <laughs> so yeah but just be really truthful when it comes to reviews and stuff like that because it will come back to bite you in the ass if you are dishonest or stuff like that but just rate your books honestly and if you really enjoyed a book feel free to rate books however the hell you want but if you read a horrible book but if like if any of you guys read a horrible book and you really hate it but it's a love book on booktube do not be afraid to give it a bad review i know sometimes it can be really uncomfortable um trust me i hated fangirl everyone loves fangirl but there will and i almost guarantee there will be someone else who hates it too and you'll make a friend out of it okay last is from hugo cortez thoughts about little peep listen to any underground rap no <laughs> i don't listen to rap i'm glad you enjoy your rap but rap is not my thing Eminem is the only exception because and that's his old stuff because I used to listen to him when I was a little itty bitty um human my coffee is cold um but yeah I don't like rap at all and I try to avoid it <laughs> but you do you man do you listen to k-pop no I don't my some of my friends love it though so I've like I know what some of the people look like and like my friends have them as their screensavers and I know a little bit about k-pop but I haven't actually listened to any of it if not, could you add in your acting to some? If yes, what group? Okay. Okay. We're gonna look up some K-pop. This scares me. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> that one ain't bad. Yes, punch. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> Do they have Screamo K-pop? I'm looking that up. Let's see about this one. I don't know. Who's Baby Metal? No idea. Yeah, Chocolate. Better. Never mind. Cancel. <laughs> Not my thing, I don't think. But thank you so much to everyone who asked. This video is going to be super long, so I'm trying to get it cut up all my blabbering a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you so much for everything recently. If you enjoyed this video, like this video and comment down below some of your thoughts. And I'll see you all super soon with a new video. Bye.